Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment Expose. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's a small click but with a big impact. Today I chose a video from NC Tyrant Hunter. In this video, Jeffrey added the bank. But I don't know why. Alright, let's do this. Hey, what's this fat ugly thing? Jeffrey Jerome Lee Mickey is a career criminal who lives in a cheap manufacturer home in North Carolina. A complete moron in a disgusting pile of steamy turds, this dude pretends he can work and collects from the government and spends his day shitting on the same government. You can make this shit up. And this lazy fat bastard frauded private company and citizens. So is the worst kind of human-sized bacteria, a walking moldy piece of rotten meat who spreads his lies to thousands and thousands of idiots. And he's a tough guy. Oh, look at this logo. Skulls and middle finger. Mm, that's what a tough mother is. Arr. Today, this decaying cigarette butt is with a walking diaper and they fraud it's a bank to save every free American from tyranny or something. Who knows anymore? Enjoy. Were you born a fat, slimy scumbag, you piece of shit, or did you have to work on it? At, uh, in Raleigh, doing a walkabout, pretty much. Um, doing a little window shopping. We got First Citizens Banks right here. We just out here, we just out here recording, seeing if they respect their rights to do so out here in the city of Raleigh. At first, he tries really hard to get the security guard's attention. They're obviously, two retards filming directly in the direction of the bank will alarm the people working there because it's a bank. And then the security guys comes out to knows what's up. Hmm, look at that poor man's face. He has those two sick elephants with cameras on the sidewalk filming the bank. He's like... Whatever we can see. Uh, what is it? Whatever we can see. Whatever that you can see. Yeah. Uh, that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of like creepy. Creepy? Yeah, it is creepy. It really is. Wow. You got, you got people that come in that's doing a banking business. Yep, in there, right? And, right, inside. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? And don't want to be recorded. But, well, they yeah, shouldn't have left home. Yeah, that's they, you, you got cameras in there, don't you? Yeah, I mean, but that's for protection. Yeah, this is too. God. Oh, yeah. God. Well, what are you protecting out here, too? Whatever. Huh. Whatever. Yeah. The balls were okay. That's all right, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it don't matter if he'd have said no. I mean, the outcome wouldn't be no different, would it? <laughs> that's what. That's probably what he was thinking, right? Huh? Now look at this. If you thought they were creepy so far, look, she didn't look back 15 times. She's scared. There she goes again. There she goes again. Obviously, nothing pleases a woman more than being filmed by two old creepy strangers in the street. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. I can't tell if you're making fun of me right now. Then this empty jar of mayonnaise stays there like a creep filming a private conversation. Don't you feel shame? Like, oh, Jesus Christ. Bro, don't do that. Don't film me, bro. Don't film me. Or, don't touch my shit I, now. Don't touch, touch my touch stuff. It. I ain't touching it. I just ask you, don't film me. You acting That's so I mature right now, bro. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. I said, don't film me. <laughs> Already got you on camera, dude. Right, don't come to my About face. 30 minutes. I ain't coming to your face. I was right here. If I can go like this, then I can touch your camera. All right. Six feet. Give me more there you go. Basketball. There you go. You got it, baby. There's no. There's no. There's no what? Call who? Your daddy? It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, what's 
Oh, you would, oh, you would be a bad I'm man. Not, I know you no, would. I'm, I'm sure. Not a bad man. I'm sure. I'm not a bad so man. who walked up to who but now? You would be, be a problem. Who, who walked up to who I'm, now? I'm at work. Who walked I'm up to who now? Being disrespectful. And How I'm am I being disrespectful? You disrespected you me by walking up in my face. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. I'm not being disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? You just did by walking in my face. If I did do, you should have did something. Yeah. Like you would if you want it work. Tough talk. Real tough talk. Oh, and you were really tough, huh? Insulting the guy when he left already and he's far away. Jeffrey, of course, hid behind his camera because he would have never ever spoken to that guy like this without the camera. And uh, Jeffrey, he would have kicked your ass so bad. Like, I, I never wish violence, but in this case, I would have given that man a standing ovation. He wants to be a tough guy, don't he? Ugh. Ambassador meter, meter reader, is that what it is? Ambassador meter reader. Tough guy still in there acting tough. Ugh. Yeah. I was man if I wasn't at work. If I wasn't at work, bro. <sighs> if I wasn't at work, man. What? Donut! You're so stupid! You're so stupid! You're stupid! <laughs> oh, come on, man. Hey, bro, do you see it? I, it don't matter who said it, it won't like that. They call the police. Call the police. They call the police on us. Just record, man. Just yeah, you can take pictures. I'm just wondering. That's it. I was just hanging. <laughs> just for the heck of it. Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect weather. Okay. I mean, not breaking any law. I'm just curious. Uh, but I don't know. It's like some protest with the bank or something like that. You're not breaking any law, right? Like just a happy person. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Hmm. It's a supervisor. He must be the super duper. He he said you ain't breaking the law three times, didn't he? He was he was like, hey man, I'm just I want it on camera that I'm not gonna do nothing stupid, right? Huh? That's what it, hey, that's what he meant. But by when he said that. Alright, see you guys. Hey, what's your, what's your uh, name? What's that? What's your name? Officer Hubble. Hubble. Hubble there Hubble you go. Police. All right, baby. What's that? Do you know why the cops are here? Uh, no, I have no idea. Yeah, right. He don't know. He's one of them. He ain't gonna tell you nothing. Uh, Must be something going on. I know, right? That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. Got some action going on there, bro. Some Might action. Be. Yeah. Nice yeah, man. What's going on in the bank? Oh, nothing. He just wanted to ask me a couple of questions. Uh, Jeffrey, since your two remaining brain cells can barely find each other in the immense emptiness of your misshapen skull, let me explain what happened. Two old retards chose to bait a bank into having a reaction by filming and acting suspiciously. So the bank called the cops who showed up. They give you one really quick look and told the bang, these two are just two village idiots, filming shit to make YouTube content. They are not dangerous whatsoever, just two old bitch with nothing else to do. And the bank said, oh, okay, officer, we just wanted to be sure that, you know, there's no real danger. Then the cop said, oh, no, 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 they're entirely harmless. They are just two whining moron with too much free time and not enough brain cell to understand their own stupidity. And the bank was like, oh, we feel really reassured right now. Thank you, officer. <laughs> Stay safe out there today. No? You're not gonna be safe. Well, that was stupid. He wanted to be an asshole, didn't he? I said, be safe out there today, and he shook his head no. 
Like, he don't want to be safe? I mean, come on, man. And that's how it ends with two geriatric pills poppers rambling on the sidewalk, spreading lies, insulting simple workers, filming women in the street, everything useful to save America from tyranny or something. I have no idea anymore, especially with this unkept parasite. Oh, I've wasted my life. All right, enough with this clown. My dear Jeffrey, like they say in the Philippines, we dang in a more. Shout out to the members. You're the reason why I dance at night under the moonlight. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.